I'll treat you good! Uh, I think the process was more democratic than on previous albums. Uh, it wasn't a complete democracy, but it was way more, like, participatory um, for everyone. And uh, for that reason, it took a long time, because democracy is really slow. <laughs> And, um, but it also was, I think, more satisfying uh, for everyone involved. Um, the, everyone is more proud of this album, I think, than, than other albums. You know, how do you still fall in love with music after being after doing this for for this long? Um, yeah. Just being in the moment, trying not to think about things other than the, what you're doing at that moment. I mm -hmm. think is, I mean, it is a great place to be when you're when the band is sounding good mm -hmm. and and you know every everything's sort of in its in its place. And um, it sometimes it's hard to like break yourself out of your concentration enough to really appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, because it is. A, it's a sensational experience. The, right. the rock concert is a very. Uh, it's this modern phenomenon that yeah, if you just take a few seconds to, you know, be be uh, you know in the wonderment of it all, then you're not tired of playing anything. But note to note, just mm -hmm. being in there. A true song as real as my tears, but you no need to fear it, cause no one. Coming out, you started in 1991, right? Is that when Cake was really formed? Pretty and, much. And this yeah. was this was amidst the the big grunge movement, and the, yeah. and you guys came out with something completely different, right? In a way, and was that a conscious decision? Yeah. It was. It was sort of our antagonistic mm -hmm. a answer to grunge. It, everybody was sort of falling in line and and coming up with this sort of very samey sort of sound of you know big drums and big guitar and mm -hmm. sort of uh, angry lumberjack uh, vocal stylings with the with the yarling uh, uh, vocal style and I just thought you know what this isn't subversive in the United States to have this big sort of bombastic um, uh, music form it just is, seems like business as usual and so we set out to make our music sound small sort of as a as, as, a, as a basically a a, a big sort of fuck you to, to, to that. And I'm not saying there was no good grunge, but um, if you were there, you know, that it was it was it was rough. There's a lot of a lot of the same. That's the thing. I mean there's a big scene happening though in, in the Northwest in Seattle uh, you know uh, and I think that that had a ripple effect on not only down down the coast of Sacramento but probably all over the United States. People realizing that with with clubs and and some a scene of people, you can really make something happen. With and music. you know, and amplification and and you know, of drums and and guitars and you know, <laughs> in a, but in a way though, it, I thought it wasn't that different than like Rush or something. In mm -hmm. some ways, it was just Rush and different clothing, you know. <laughs> and uh, I just thought it wasn't truly different. Mm -hmm. So, um, so we ended up trying to to sound you know puny and. Um, and, and and you know people really didn't a lot of people didn't really get it and it just thought we were a joke mm -hmm. and uh, so you know that didn't really work out but there were plenty of people actually though that did understand what we we're doing and and, and and liked our music so cool well what I like most about it is that that you guys still write songs and so for people that want to still hear songs then this is like a dream come true because there's storytelling I can hear what you're saying and um, it's a visceral response with, with what's going on with the audience and you guys. So, well, um, thanks. With that said, Cake, thanks so much. You Thank guys you. rock. We'll talk to you later. Thanks. Bye.